Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. When animals first started moving onto the land, they had to figure out a whole new diet, finding ways to enjoy the new delights of land-dwelling plants, as well as eating each other pretty much constantly. However, certain species just couldn't give up their love of a fish diet. The problem now, of course, was that for land-dwelling species, it was suddenly a lot harder to get a hold of the fish. And by suddenly, we mean by literally across millions of years. So they had some time to figure things out. Anyway, the answer in some cases was to become a serious badass hunter or fisher, developing all kinds of amazing techniques for extracting tasty fish from the ocean while still living an air-breathing life on land. So without further ado, here are 10 badass land animals that eat water creatures. Let's go. Number 10, Gray Heron. The Gray Heron is a large, elegant bird which lives by water. It stands around three feet tall and can weigh up to 4.4 pounds. They are known for their majestic appearance and have been frequently represented in ancient religions and cultures. Anyway, while we're talking about herons, we should point out that they're not especially brilliant flyers, preferring to glide slowly when necessary. This is certainly not the bird of prey in the style of the peregrine falcon, however. Herons are predators and extremely skillful ones too. Their preferred technique is to wade through shallow waters in lakes and rivers, looking for a good spot such as a protruding rock. Then they stand dead still and wait until something swims past them at which moment they strike. Alternatively, they're also great at stalking their prey through the water with a characteristic S-shaped bend in their neck. And when they spot a meal, they strike at incredible speed. And with a large, sharp beak, their diet consists of fish, insects, small mammals, and amphibians. Sometimes they eat baby ducks and even full-grown water rails. If their prey is small enough, they will swallow it straight down but other larger prey, like eels, will have the pleasure of being dragged to shore and beaten to death before having its flesh pulled off in chunks. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that will take just five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 9. Bald Eagle the bald eagle is the most famous and easily recognizable birds in the world, partially due to it being the national symbol of the United States of America. Featuring on the national seal, it has a brown body with a white head which gives it the appearance of being bald like a vulture. However, this new world bird is a form of a sea eagle and is a magnificent hunter. Although the bald eagle is opportunistic, it will try out pretty much anything it is able to carry as a meal. In some places, fish make up more than 90% of their diet, and there are very few images more striking in nature than the sight of a bald eagle swooping down to collect a salmon from a river, often striking with incredible precision after spotting a fish from far up in the sky. They're able to reach speeds of up to 100 miles per hour when diving for prey, and their regular flight speed is more like 40 miles per hour. Number 8. Leopard in Botswana, hungry leopards have made their way to the Zavuti River, where they have learned a new skill making them unique among the leopards in other regions of the world. Normally, these big cats feed on a diet of warthog, antelope, monkey, and other land mammals. But with supplies drying up, they have found a new favorite dish, namely the giant catfish. Most felines are not super thrilled about the idea of getting into a wet and muddy pool. But when you're hungry, it seems you'll do anything to get a meal and that includes being caked in mud. The leopard uses its traditional patience and stalking skills waiting for the moment to strike, before diving into the mud bath with only one objective in mind, a mouth full of catfish. And that is exactly why you will find leopards living next to bodies of water. Although they can adapt to a variety of habitats and will eat many different foods, their numbers are in rapid decline and they are extinct in many parts of the world. A hunter was surprised to discover a leopard in Egypt in recent years, having long been considered extinct in the area. Thankfully, the hunter decided not to shoot and kill the last one, and none have been seen ever since. However, with intelligence to adapting to fishing, maybe there are some chances for leopards to avoid extinction. Number 7. 
Hooded Merganser. The Hooded Merganser is a small New World duck with a pretty wild appearance. On their heads are a large crest colored black and white in males and brown in the females, which gives them something of a new punk rock look. These striking birds are specialist fish eaters and love to dive beneath the surface to pick off little bits of prey that they spot swimming around them. They have great eyesight, especially adapted for underwater vision, and while most North American ducks will eat pretty much anything, our gansers are all about the fish. They are highly secretive, however, so it's not known how many are currently living in the world, but we do know that their favorite place to live and hunt is in the region of the Great Lakes. Their legs are also adapted for fishing, being placed far back on their bodies, giving them a much better shape for quick dives below the surface to snatch a tasty meal. However, on land, these ducks are pretty awkward. Number 6. Albatross The albatross is one of the most amazing creatures of all. There are many species in the family they belong to, some of which are all out record-breaking birds. The wandering albatross has the largest wingspan of any flying bird, and it can measure up to 11 feet and 6 inches, tip to tip. They can also weigh up to 28 pounds, meaning that the takeoff for this massive bird is no easy feat. Once up, they tend to stay up there for a long time, which may be unsurprising considering the energy expended getting off the ground. They live on islands in the southern ocean, but often far out to sea and have been recorded traveling more than 4,000 miles in just 12 days. They're able to dive and capture a whole variety of food, including squid, octopus, fish, and other small sea creatures. Sometimes they gorge on so much food that they have to land in water and stay there for as long as it takes to lose enough weight to be able to fly again. And these birds have a big appetite and also known to live a long time with one female albatross recorded in 2017 at 66 years old. Number five, wolves. Most people will be familiar with the sight of a pack of wolves on a hunt chasing down some unfortunate herd of animals across a snowy plain. But when the regular prey dries up, the wolves don't go hungry. A new study in Alaska has found that they make use of their fishing skills. Dominic Watts, a biologist with the U.S. and Fish Wildlife, has spent many years tagging and observing their feeding behaviors. He discovered that gray wolves have a much larger proportion of fish and sea creatures in their diet than he previously known. Salmon, walrus, seal, and even gray and beluga whales are often eaten by wolves when the regular prey is not available to hunt. Coastal wolves' diet can contain up to 20% food that they've fished from the water. Another study by the University of Victoria in Canada found that wolves living near there maybe even prefer salmon to the usual meals of deer and caribou. Aside from being tasty, there's another benefit to eating salmon over bigger land mammals, and that is, they don't fight back. Number 4. Snake While many snakes are excellent swimmers, and in fact there are a wide variety of snakes which live in water, it's rare for land snakes to eat a lot of fish, and they tend to have a hard time breaking down certain enzymes in fish meat. One exception is the garter snake, which is one of the most common reptiles found in North America. They are often brightly patterned and can grow up to as much as 5 feet long, but are usually much smaller in spite of their warning colors. Garter snakes are not dangerous to humans though. Their venom is very mild, and furthermore, they don't have the correct teeth to deliver it in a bite. While garter snakes are widespread in their habitat range, they are never far from a body of water such as a lake, river, or the coast. Their favorite food is amphibians, but they will also happily slip into the water and feed on small fish such as minnows. Number 3. Polar Bears Polar bears are the top arctic predators, and they need to eat a huge amount of food to maintain their bodies which can weigh up to 1,500 pounds, making them the biggest of the bears. Their diet is almost entirely meat based, and they are strong and powerful swimmers. Although in water, they're usually no match for their favorite prey, seals. But polar bears are smart hunters, and they don't try to match seals in water. Instead. They wait by holes in ice that the seals maintain, which allow them to surface and breathe, and when they do, a hungry bear is sometimes waiting for an unlucky seal. Polar bears will sometimes prey on beluga whales and narwhals, and have been recorded attacking massive walruses. 
although most of the time, an adult walrus is more than even a polar bear can handle. Polar bears are cautious rather than aggressive, but they have no instinctive fear of humans and will sometimes even attack and kill humans for food. Unlike other bears who will kill humans and then leave the body having acted in self-defense. They also have a curious nature, which has resulted in polar bears being found with all kinds of unusual things in their stomachs, including car batteries, styrofoam, plastic, and motor oil. Go figure. And now, let's get ready for today's top pick. Number 2. Spiders You may have heard of the bird-eating spider, but now we know of the existence of the fish-eating spider. In fact, a new study has proven that 8 out of 109 spider families contain species which prey on fish. These spiders are spread across every continent except Antarctica, and there are over 18 confirmed species. Some of these fishing spiders live in the Florida wetlands, where the low levels of oxygen in the water are ideal condition for these hunters. These spiders use their back legs to attach themselves to a rock or a root at the water's edge, and then they allow their front legs to sit on the surface of the water. The spider then waits for anything that comes too close and is viciously attacked. And while sometimes this includes insects landing on the water, it also includes fish coming up for the surface to get some of the water there which has better oxygen levels. Number 1. Fishing Bat The fisherman bat, or as it's also known, the greater bulldog bat, is native to Central and South America. It gets its name bulldog from the facial structure which resembles the scrunched up face of a bulldog and its other name comes from its remarkable ability to fish. While most bats feed off other fruits and insects, some other species have come to specialize in fishing, and this one is able to master it. This bat basically uses its echolocation skill to read the ripples on the surface of the water before diving down to grab a fish. The fisherman bat is a large creature with a body of around 5 inches and a wingspan of 3 feet. They have an especially large pair of hind legs and big feet, which makes this bat a great swimmer as well. They circle high above the water, releasing their pulses of sound, and when they detect something moving in the water, they fly lower to make a good second reading. Once the target is confirmed, the bat swoops on the prey, which is usually fish but sometimes shrimp. Its bulldog-like face allows for food storage in the cheek pouches, so it can stock up on fish and then return to the hollow trees it likes to roost in along with the rest of its colony. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching today's video, we hope that you enjoyed it, and please stay tuned for some more great content.